Namaskar viewers, Jai Jagannath. How is everyone doing? Today I'm going to take you through the first class German trains experience. In Germany, the first class trains are either the IC, EC or ICE and I had a good opportunity, a great opportunity of traveling in one of the ICs in Germany. And to all the Odias who are watching this video back home, our bhi bhon saru bhoot gura intercity express chale. So now I'm going to take you through the overall experience of an ICE, what the onboarding looks like, what should you expect, what is exactly the offerings of an ICE first class, and finally, how should you book your tickets for an ICE. Do watch this video till the end and drop all your queries and comments below which would help the algorithm to boost this video. If you're new to my channel then do subscribe. My name is Svikruti aka The Brown Skin Girl and I make videos on travel, health, lifestyle and my experiences here as an expat in Germany. Without further ado, let's get started. The travel was essentially a business trip and that's why I had booked the tickets from my office portal. To be honest, I've never traveled in a first class back in India as well. So coming from a middle class family, I always wanted to do that. And now that I got an opportunity here, it was like a dream come true. So as usual, my journey started early in the morning at 6.30 and then I rushed to the Hauptbahnhof, which is the main station here in Hanover. And I started my journey to Munich from there. If you know a little bit about Deutsche Bahn, then they have a reputation of being late. However, for me, that was not the case and I started my journey on time. Let's start with the information about the trains. These trains generally travel at a speed of 300 kilometers per hour. The IC is used to commute within the cities in Germany, but they're also used to travel to a lot of neighboring countries like France, Denmark, Austria, etc. As you can see, they have these beautiful broad window panes through which you can explicitly enjoy the nature outside of the window. Pretty much in summer, all passengers love their journey because it looks so bright outside the window. Window. and the colors are drop dead gorgeous. I think the first feeling which I had when I entered into the train was a feeling of gratitude that I was able to experience something like this. And then I started to set out what exactly the ICE offers to every passenger that enters and travels through this train. Let's get started with the list now. Number one, comfortable seats with spacious legroom area. The inside of the ICs are super spacious. As you can see, there are different kinds of seating that are available. There are single, double, quadruple, depending on what the passenger has chosen for themselves. And under those seats, you have an um, ample amount of legroom available for every passenger. I was traveling alone, so I had opted for a loner seat. If the train is going empty, then if you're not happy with the seat that you have been allotted, you can change it with the help of the TT who comes to check your ticket. Thanks to my Indian roots, while I was coming back from Munich, I just sat down and started eating my chicken and chowl on my seat. And literally nobody came to disturb me or ask me, hey, you can't do this or you can't do that. And it was immensely pacifying to me that I can be myself do the thing that I want to do within my personal space. The next point is about the internal compartments. There are certain areas which are enclosed within doors inside the first class. Let's say if you have a family with a lot of kids and you don't want other people to be disturbed or you want to conduct virtual meetings there, then these are those internal compartments where you can have all these activities without others being disturbed. The next point is about free Wi-Fi. Exactly, the whole train has a free Wi-Fi which you can access while you're going. In fact, I myself had posted on Instagram and I checked on my uh, other socials while I was traveling and, and I did not face any problem at all. Because while traveling, we generally lose out on our battery. So there are sockets available near the seats where you can charge your laptops, your phones, etc. One thing that I noticed interesting was within these first class compartments, just like we have it in the flights, there are 
people who come to you to service your food and drinks that you've ordered from the pantry so you can book your seat reservations have that catering at your seat and also get that newspaper that you wanted to read early in the morning another facet which i found interesting was they have proper monitors which show you where the train is heading towards and how much time will it take to reach to the next destination so you don't have to really call someone else on the outside so uh, to ask or check on an app constantly there is everything in front of your eyes being updated as the train is moving in the direction of your destination also the announcements are all in german and english so let's say you don't really understand german that much for you it's fine absolutely because english is always an option moving on to the next segment which is the toilets i maintain freaky standards for toilets in fact even a pinch of smell and i just go crazy i it's it's very difficult to use the toilet there after however here it was not that case the toilets were simply astounding with the cleanliness they have maintained the number of paper towels the soap everything was really on dot and it actually helped improve the overall experience while traveling in this particular first class ice A pro tip if you are bringing your parents here please carry two things here one as you can see on screen this is a papier this is a toilet papier and the second is the wet wipes because i know there are no water which you can use uh within the toilets they are all dry toilets within the german trains and hence these two will always come in handy wherever you or your loved ones go Also the train toilets can be a little confusing when you are using them for the first time so here is a green button that you can use to flush down after you have used the toilets now coming to the most interesting question how much does it cost to travel in a german first class ice so i think for me while i was going to munich it cost me about 65 euros but while returning it was 85 euros what do you need to know about the ticketing or the cost of tickets is just like the plane tickets these tickets are also dynamic in nature so let's say if you are booking your tickets closer to your due date you might have to pay really higher than what you would pay for something that you have booked earlier for yourself what's the difference between a morning and an evening journey i think there is not much of a difference but i noticed that during summer and because it was evening also the lights on top are different than what we experience back in india or in the morning when you travel there is a yellow light that is beaming and they looked a bit like the emergency lights as well while i was coming back i did not speak too much on the phone or did not want to disturb too many people i didn't also have liability insurance <laughs> so that if someone wants to sue me i can take care of it but now i that i do have i can be a little chill while i'm traveling on an ic If you haven't checked out my liability insurance video then do check it out here is the link on top Now the next thing is about where can I book these tickets so there are two ways of booking this first of all you can use the DB app or else you can go ahead and buy these tickets on the DB uh, online portal which is available and I'll show you how to do it You can head over to band.de select here fun from where you are going to nak and this is the destination i'm selecting once you've decided that hey this is the destination the date of travel and the time of travel i'm going to just select first class here and i'm going to say without the band card and next time i'm going to search for the tickets i'm going to select this and i'm going to select that um once i've selected which ticket i want now within the first class also there are differences there are discounted tickets let's say i'm just selecting the flexible price i go ahead and after that i can go ahead hey i don't need a bank card i'll just say that you can move ahead and after you have booked everything they'll ask you to log in unmailing is essentially log in you can log it in and the next phase is zalung where you can go ahead book your tickets 
proof in and book in is something like you proof that hey this is what it is this is my ticket that i want and you can finally go ahead the strategum is you confirm and voila your tickets are done <laughs> and that was the video guys i hope you enjoyed this video do drop all your comments queries feedback everything down below on the comments and i would be happy to read and respond to all of them i'll see you next week with another video till then stay safe stay healthy dhanyabad jai jagannath